Hey guys, so this is going to be part one of this video. It's going to be all in one video, but I'm going to do different like segments because we're going to be painting the Rebecca Mink off. So if you guys remember, I got this in a thread up um, name brand handbag rescue box. It is not in very good condition, um, especially on the back. There's a lot of like blue transfer corners are pretty doo-doo but the interior is really nice so um also i'm going to be working on this chanel wallet um because this is still drying um because you guys voted and you chose pink uh the majority of you chose pink so i got this one um it was like, the choices were like a light pink, this hot pink, and then a neon pink. So I went with the middle option. No idea what it's actually going to look like on the purse, but that's what we're going to do. And then I figured that's great that you guys picked that color because I bought this Chanel wallet to fix up and look at that interior. Whoa, baby. So I plan on painting the interior of this. But you know what, I'm, I'm not really sure because I don't wanna cover the Chanel. So I'm not really sure what to do on this one now that I see that. I'll have to think about it and maybe just like do this side or maybe leave it, I don't know. But I'm definitely gonna fix up the metallic right here and, and re repair that a little bit. But the rest of it is fine. So anyway, that's a project. Also, so basically what I'm going to do to start this purse is you want to clean it. So you're going to take like a baby wipe or, um, you know, a cleaning, a leather cleaning wipe, something that is going to just clean the bag. You want it to obviously be gentle enough to clean the leather. So there really isn't anything specific to use, just something gentle enough to clean leather. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this stuff and put it on paper towel and just go over it because this will also help with um, preparing it because see how this purse kind of has like a glossy finish to it? This will even everything out and make the paint a lot easier to stick. So I'm gonna do this in different parts because this has like a flap so I'm going to do like this section first, let it dry, then I'll fold this up. I'll do under here, let that dry, then here. Like So I'll be doing it in a lot of different sections. Um, and then when I'm done, I'm going to apply this to seal everything in. And I plan on using these two paintbrushes. This one to go over the edges, and then this one to do like the big sections. All right, so I'll be back with the first section complete. Okay, so the first part is outlined, and it actually is this really pretty, like, bubblegum pink. I don't know if you guys can see that, like, accurately. It's actually almost like Pepto-Bismol, <laughs> but not in a bad way. Um, anyway, so obviously you want to cover your table or your surface. Um, I also this part is very difficult. I'm not going to do the fabric because it's going to be too hard to get in there with the zipper and then the paint is going to affect the zipper. So I usually leave the fabric. Are we focused here? Okay. And for this part here, you can get like painter's tape or something like that. I just kind of peeled it back like this and, um, you know, put my nail there so that it wouldn't get on the fabric. I did get a teeny itty bitty little bit right there. Um, but when it's like, you know, not gonna be able to see it. So now I can feel free to go in the center, do that part. And then I will do this part, the flap on top and just work my way down the bag. You want to make sure um, the different sections are dried, like for example, if you're flipping it over and doing the back. So you want to at least give it 24 hours before you start to do like the back side and stuff like that. Um, I might do a second coat on this. 
we'll see how it comes out and if it's streaky or what but um all right so we will see you okay guys. so we have the top section done um honestly this is the first color that i've been um that i'm using i usually just use black and paint everything black because black is the easiest to hide things and you don't see streaks and stuff like that so i'm really curious as to how this is going to dry because <laughs> it's making me nervous um but if this is a fail i'm still gonna post it because it's an experience right so basically you also want to make sure you're getting into like the little um grooves for the i don't know why my phone is like bugging out um for the stitching and then you want to make sure you're in there with all of the um wrinkling of the leather there we go i don't like the new update on the iphone this is also why i use my ipad but it's easier right now to be sitting at the table with my phone instead of an ipad anyway let's keep going okay so we got the next section done um also you don't want to use too much paint uh, you can always put more on. You can't take it off once it's on. So I always do like an, a nice enough layer to cover. And if anything, we can do a second coat. Um, if you do, I forgot to mention this earlier. If you do happen to get it on something that you don't want it to be on, um, white vinegar will clean it off like immediately. Like once it's, as long as it's still wet and everything. Um, so you want to just get, like, I have the cap of the white vinegar and a Q-tip and, you know, but other than that, you should be good. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, see, I can probably start the strap now. I'll do one side of the strap. By the time that dries, I can probably do the, um, I might save the underneath until another day so that I can lay it, you know, on here and it's dry. So I might do the strap and then like one side of the strap, let it dry. Then I might do maybe like a side. So you just work in sections and I will come back with um, the next section. All right, so we got the one side of the strap done. You can see where the paper on the table comes in handy. <laughs> So um, it does definitely look super spotty when it's wet, but as you can see, as it's drying, it's looking really, really good. Oh my gosh, I'm loving this. Eee! Okay, so I'm probably gonna move on to maybe a side part now or maybe the bottom, not sure yet. We're just kind of rolling with right. it. So I got it propped up because I did the underneath here of the um, piping so I don't want it to hit the paper as it's drying so we're going to leave it like this and I didn't do the other side of the hardware like the other side of the little loop here because I'm going to wait till this side dries then move the hardware over and then do the other side of the loop okay so then we're gonna wait for all this to dry and I will do the other side and then we'll move into probably the bottom and then by then the top should be dry enough to kind of flap that over and do the main side. And then when it all dries, we'll probably do the back. And we can do the strap probably a little later, but as of right now, I'm gonna let all this dry and come back probably later tonight because right now it's 2.35 on Tuesday, January 9th. So we're going to continue probably later tonight as long as this is dry enough. All right, guys, next section is complete. I did the bottom, I did both sides, and I finished the strap. So next will be the top and then the bottom or other way around not sure yet but it's looking fabulous i'm so excited so i will check back in after the next part
All right, guys, we're almost done. Sorry for the shadow. All right, so um, I'm gonna keep going and I will check back in. All right, guys, so all is done so far. Sides, bottom, strap. Now I'm going to do the back and then we will apply the top coat and we'll be done. Alrighty, it's upside down, but the back is finished. So we're gonna let that dry. Then we're gonna go over the whole thing with this top coat and this cute little wool brush. And maybe I'll show you how I do it. So we'll see you next time. We'll see you in the morning. Well, for you, it'll be a couple seconds and then we'll put the top coat on. Time for the top coat. So I am using this little wool brush that is supposed to be really good for, um, you know, applying paints and stuff like that to bags. Whoops, I'm not even recording. Um, and it, you know, applies smooth, blah, blah, blah. So you can use this for the actual paint process, but because there's a lot of like, um, you know, areas where you have to get into, like with a paintbrush, I, Use the paintbrush. So you're just gonna rub this all over it. It's gonna look a little milky at first, but it will be fine. And then you'll let it dry and do the other side. And then you'll be good to go. She's finished. All right, so I am um, done with the painting. I know there's a shadow on it, I'm sorry. Um, that's what sucks about having overhead lights in the ceiling in your house. You get a shadow on everything. So, love it, love it. I even did all the way up under there. Um, I'm just gonna recheck the inside once you know everything is complete. I had to do a little bit of touch up on the insides of the little, the little loops there. But other than that, she is good to go. Uh, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed. And I will be, I will have everything, all the products that I used listed down in the description box. And if you have any questions, let me know. I will try to help. I am no expert. So let's throw that out there. No expert. I've only painted, I think this is only like my second bag. I do touch-ups, but this is like the first, the second ever, like, total bag that I've done. So, um, I hope you guys enjoy, and I will have this coming up shortly for you guys for sale. And, um, yeah, so I'm no expert. Be easy on me. <laughs> I do what I can with the knowledge I have and Google and YouTube videos. So, um, anyone can learn anything. Remember that. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Give me the thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one.